Atomoxetine, sold under the brand name Stratera among others, is a norepinephrine noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor which is approved for the treatment of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD. As of 2017, it is available as a generic medication in the United States. Medical uses Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Atomoxetine is approved for use in children, adolescents, and adults. However, its efficacy has not been studied in children under 6 years old. Its primary advantage over the standard stimulant treatments for ADHD is that it has little known abuse potential. While it has been shown to significantly reduce inattentive and hyperactive symptoms, the responses were lower than the response to stimulants. Additionally, 40% of participants who were treated with atomoxetine experienced significant residual ADHD symptoms. The initial therapeutic effects of atomoxetine usually take two to four weeks to become apparent. A further two to four weeks may be required for the full therapeutic effects to be seen. Its efficacy may be less than that of stimulant medications. Unlike alpha-2 adrenoceptor agonists such as guanfacine and clonidine, atomoxetine's use can be abruptly stopped without significant discontinuation effects being seen. Contraindications Contraindications include Adverse effects Incidence of adverse effects, very common, greater than 10% incidence, adverse effects include Nausea, 26% Xerostomia, dry mouth, 20% Appetite loss, 16% Insomnia, 15% Fatigue, 10% Headache Cough common, 1 to 10% incidence, adverse effects include Uncommon, 0.1 to 1% incidence, adverse effects include Rare, 0.01 to 0.1% incidence, adverse effects including Raynaud's phenomenon Abnormal, increased liver function tests Jaundice Hepatitis Liver injury Acute liver failure Urinary retention Priapism Male genital panth FDA of the U.S. has issued a black box warning for suicidal behavior, ideation. Similar warnings have been issued in Australia. Unlike stimulant medications, atomoxetine does not have abuse liability or the potential to cause withdrawal effects on abrupt discontinuation. Overdose Atomoxetine is relatively non-toxic in overdose. Single drug overdoses involving over 1,500 mg of atomoxetine have not resulted in death. The most common symptoms of overdose include Less common symptoms Seizures QTC interval prolongation The recommended treatment for atomoxetine overdose includes use of activated charcoal to prevent further absorption of the drug. Interactions Atomoxetine is a substrate for CYP2D6. Concurrent treatment with a CYP2D6 inhibitor such as bupropion, fluoxetine, or peroxetine has been shown to increase plasma atomoxetine by 100% or more, as well as increase and desmethylatomoxetine levels and decrease plasma 4 hydroxyatomoxetine levels by a similar degree. Atomoxetine has been found to directly inhibit HERG potassium currents with an IC50 of 6.3 μm, which has the potential to cause arrhythmia. QT prolongation has been reported with atomoxetine at therapeutic doses and in overdose. It is suggested that atomoxetine not be used with other medications that may prolong the QT interval, concomitantly with CYP2D6 inhibitors, and caution to be used in poor metabolizers. Other notable drug interactions include antihypertensive agents, due to atomoxetine acting as an indirect sympathomimetic. Indirect acting sympathomimetics, such as pseudoephedrine, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or MAOIs. 
direct acting sympathomimetics, such as phenylephrine or other alpha-1 adrenoceptor agonists, including pressors such as dobutamine or isoprenolin and beta-2 adrenoceptor agonists. Highly plasma protein-bound drugs, atomoxetine has the potential to displace these drugs from plasma proteins which may potentiate their adverse or toxic effects. In vitro, atomoxetine does not affect the plasma protein binding of aspirin, dizipramine, diazepam, paroxetine, phenytoin, or warfarin. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Atomoxetine inhibits the presynaptic norepinephrine transporter NET, preventing the reuptake of norepinephrine throughout the brain along with inhibiting the reuptake of dopamine in specific brain regions such as the prefrontal cortex, where dopamine transporter DAT expression is minimal. In rats, atomoxetine increased prefrontal cortex catecholamine concentrations without altering dopamine levels in the striatum or nucleus accumbens. In contrast, methylphenidate, a dopamine reuptake inhibitor, was found to increase prefrontal, striatal, and accumbal dopamine levels to the same degree. In mice, atomoxetine was also found to increase prefrontal catecholamine levels without affecting striatal or accumbal levels. Atomoxetine. S status as a serotonin transporter CERT, inhibitor at clinical doses in humans is uncertain. A PET imaging study on rhesus monkeys found that atomoxetine occupied greater than 90% and greater than 85% of neural net and CERT, respectively. However, both mouse and rat microdialysis studies have failed to find an increase in extracellular serotonin in the prefrontal cortex following acute or chronic atomoxetine treatment. Supporting atomoxetine S selectivity, a human study found no effects on platelet serotonin uptake, a marker of CERT inhibition, and inhibition of the pressor effects of tyramine, a marker of NET inhibition. Atomoxetine has been found to act as an NMDA receptor antagonist in rat cortical neurons at therapeutic concentrations. It causes a use-dependent open channel block and its binding site overlaps with the MG2 plus binding site. Atomoxetine's ability to increase prefrontal cortex firing rate in anesthetized rats could not be blocked by D1 or alpha-2 adrenergic receptor antagonists, but could be potentiated by NMDA or an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor antagonist, suggesting a glutaminergic mechanism. In sprayed dolly rats, atomoxetine reduces NR2B protein content without altering transcript levels. Aberrant glutamate and NMDA receptor function have been implicated in the etiology of ADHD. Atomoxetine also reversibly inhibits GERC currents in Xenopus oocytes in a concentration dependent, voltage independent, and time independent manner. Here 3.1, 3.2 ion channels are opened downstream of M2, alpha 2, D2, and A1 stimulation, as well as other GI coupled receptors. Therapeutic concentrations of atomoxetine are within range of interacting with GERCs, especially in CYP2D6 poor metabolizers. It is not known whether this contributes to the therapeutic effects of atomoxetine in ADHD. 4-hydroxyatomoxetine, the major active metabolite of atomoxetine in CYP2D6 extensive metabolizers, has been found to have sub-micromolar affinity for opioid receptors, acting as an antagonist at mu opioid receptors and a partial agonist at kappa opioid receptors. It is not known whether this contributes to the therapeutic effects of atomoxetine in ADHD. Pharmacokinetics Orally administered atomoxetine is rapidly and completely absorbed. Hepatic first pass metabolism is dependent on CYP2D6 activity, resulting in an absolute bioavailability of 63% for extensive metabolizers and 94% for poor metabolizers. Maximum plasma concentration is reached in 1 to 2 hours. If taken with food, the maximum plasma concentration decreases by 10 to 40% and delays the Tmax by 1 hour. Drugs affecting gastric pH have no effect on oral bioavailability. Atomoxetine has a volume of distribution of 0.85 L per kilogram, with limited partitioning into red blood cells. It is highly bound to plasma proteins, 98.7%, mainly albumin, along with alpha-1 acid glycoprotein, 77%, and Ig 15%. 
Its metabolite N-desmethylatomoxetine is 99.1% bound to plasma proteins, while 4-hydroxyatomoxetine is only 66.6% .6 bound. The half-life of atomoxetine varies widely between individuals, with an average range of 4.5 to 19 hours. As atomoxetine is metabolized by CYP2D6, exposure may be increased tenfold in CYP2D6 poor metabolizers. Atomoxetine, and desmethylatomoxetine, and 4 hydroxyatomoxetine produce minimal to no inhibition of CYP1A2 and CYP2C9, but inhibit CYP2D6 in human liver microsomes at concentrations between 3.6 to 17 mu mole per liter. Plasma concentrations of 4-hydroxyatomoxetine and N-desmethylatomoxetine at steady state are 1.0% and 5% that of atomoxetine in CYP2D6 extensive metabolizers, and are 5% and 45% that of atomoxetine in CYP2D6 poor metabolizers. Atomoxetine is excreted unchanged in urine at 96% and 80% of a total dose being excreted in urine, respectively. The fractions excreted in urine as 4-hydroxyatomoxetine and its glucuronide account for 86% of a given dose in extensive metabolizers, but only 40% in poor metabolizers. CYP2D6 poor metabolizers excrete greater amounts of minor metabolites, namely N-desmethylatomoxetine and 2-hydroxymethylatomoxetine and their conjugates. Pharmacogenomics Chinese adults homozygous for the hypoactive CYP2D6 asterisk 10 allele have been found to exhibit two-fold higher AUCs and 1.5-fold higher maximum plasma concentrations compared to extensive metabolizers. Japanese men homozygous for CYP2D6 asterisk 10 have similarly been found to experience two-fold higher AUCs compared to extensive metabolizers. Chemistry atomoxetine, or, minus, methyl, 3R, minus 3, 2 methylphenoxy, minus 3 phenylpropyl, amine, is a white granular powder that is highly soluble in water. Synthesis detection in biological fluids atomoxetine may be quantitated in plasma, serum or whole blood in order to distinguish extensive versus poor metabolizers and those receiving the drug therapeutically, to confirm the diagnosis in potential poisoning victims or to assist in the forensic investigation in a case of fatal overdosage. History atomoxetine is manufactured, marketed, and sold in the United States as the hydrochloride salt atomoxetine HCL under the brand name Stratera by Eli Lilly and Company, the original patent filing company and current U.S. patent owner. Atomoxetine was initially intended to be developed as an antidepressant, but it was found to be insufficiently efficacious for treating depression. It was, however, found to be effective for ADHD and was approved by the FDA in 2002 for the treatment of ADHD. Its patent expired in May 2017. On May 30, 2017 the FDA approved the generic production by four pharmaceutical companies. On 12 August 2010, Lilly lost a lawsuit that challenged its patent on Stratera, increasing the likelihood of an earlier entry of a generic into the U.S. market. On 1 September 2010, Sun Pharmaceuticals announced it would begin manufacturing a generic in the United States. In a 29 July 2011 conference call, however, Sun Pharmaceuticals chairman stated, Lilly won that litigation on appeal so I think, generic Stratera s deferred. Society and culture Brand names in India, atomoxetine is sold under brand names including AXETRA, Accepta, Atera, Tamoxetine, and Atentin. In Australia and Romania, atomoxetine is sold under the brand name Stratera. In Iran, atomoxetine is sold under brand names including Stramix. Research there has been some suggestion that atomoxetine might be a helpful adjunct in people with major depression, particularly in cases with concomitant ADHD. See also Fluoxetine, 4 trifluoromethyl instead of 2 methyl. References External links Rx List. Com. Stratera. Detailed Stratera consumer information, uses, precautions, side effects.
All disclosed Lilly trials Stratera-related published studies